Hi, welcome to Tech Bike Parts. Today we're going to be showing you our uh, rear set footrest fitting kit for the Triumph Bonneville. Now we've been making these um, alloy universal footrest fitting kits for quite a while now and they do fit a lot of bikes without hassle but to fit on the Bonneville it's a bit more concerned. In fact that'll give you an idea what, what's in, involved. There's the fitting kit that's required for it. So we've uh, been asked so many times to do it we've decided to produce a, a purpose-built fitting kit with all the linkages brackets nuts bolts spacers washers everything that you need is in there now, we, in kit, yeah now we're going to do two different types we're doing doing them in silver and we're doing them in black both feature folding foot pegs uh, all alloy parts for the mountain plates uh, rose joints everything's in there and we're going to fit silver ones on the bike because basically because they'll show up better on the video for contrast. So we'll get on with it. Okay, so you're going to need to remove a few parts from the bike to fit the footrest kit. You'll need to take the sprocket cover off here because you need to do that to gain access to the this footrest mounting bracket here. Now you'll need to remove the footrest off here and the rear brake lever off. And to remove the rear brake lever you need to pull remove these bolts here to pull it off I'll, uh, I'll, I'll zoom in so, you, so yeah. guys can see yeah um, you know what exactly it is you yeah you you need to remove these three allen bolts here and then this footrest assembly slides off and you need to remove this little there's a clip on the back of this pivot pin here and you need to remove that as well it's also an idea to remove the side panel as well because we need to be at the master cylinder. So once you've got those bits off, we'll, we'll proceed. So I'll take those off now and we'll get the next part. Okay then. <laughs> you can clap if you want. <laughs> right, so this is with the, all the parts we need removed. We've removed these two bolts from the footrest mountain plate. We've got the brick pedal disconnected. We've got the footrest off and we've removed the pin from the rear brake master cylinder. We've also removed the two mounting bolts for the rear brake master cylinder there and it's just hanging there. Gearbox sprocket, uh, the sprocket covers off there as well which you'll need for access. Right so what we need to do now is start fitting the parts in the kit. So you need to fit, if you loosen the, the rear brake master cylinder off and loosen the reservoir off but leave the hoses connected you need to fit the, this bracket here like that as shown on onto the frame and then also mount the master cylinder to it with the m8 uh, bolts and nylon nuts now this bracket fits like that and that gives you clearance to get your side panel screw in again you also need to remove this fitting from the end of the rod and fit this fitting instead the swivel fitting to the end of that okay so we need to fit the alloy footrest mounting hanger plates now these are handed left and right and they're also recessed on the outside so this is the right hand one you pop your bolts in and then you put two washers spreader washers on the inside and the spacer Also need to pop a nut, nut and bolt in there. It's just a steady bolt. It doesn't actually need this. It just tidies the, the job up a little bit to the shape of the bracket. You could actually just have the bracket off there, but it would look a little bit odd. So you need to tighten these up and torque them up now. And that one there as well. And then we'll fit the footrest next. So the next thing we need to fit is the rear uh, uh, footrest and the br uh, brake lever. So you use a spacer and a bolt, the bush mushroom headed bolt there. Pop that through the rose joint with a nut on the other side. Now you've got adjustment on here. You can wind this in and out. Or you can, if you were miles out on the adjustment, you can actually move this plate here onto a different hole on the back if you wanted to be outside the adjustment range of this this swivel 
a quick word on spacing on on this brake lever and for adjustment now between this plate and the footrest ideally you want to, there's a couple of 10 mil large washers go in behind here just to pack it out slightly Let's see if I can get in there. now that gives you a bit of clearance here the important thing is that this rod doesn't rub against the frame also you can there's a small 8 mil washer goes between the bracket and the rose joint again to stop it rubbing at this point as you can see it, it doesn't touch there now if you're finding that you're having problems with rubbing or with lack of adjustment you can mount this on the other side using this spacer and that will give you a bit more length on the rod if you find you're right at the end of the the, uh, the adjustment on the rod you can pull it the outside and it'll give you a bit more adjustment also on this plate here you need to mount washers in the kit They're actually on the inside between the frame and the plate just to pack it out very slightly again to make sure you've got clearance between the rod and the frame because you don't want anything rubbing so you should have a nice smooth action as you press the lever there with nothing actually catching at all and it's just a matter of um, trying the bike out make sure you're happy enough with where it is Again, maybe it's just adjusting it slightly and going over and tightening everything up to make sure it's all nicely tight. Okay, so on this side, you just need to remove the footrest and the gear lever and these two frame bolts, which I've already loosened there. And I've just put that on lightly on the mountain plate and you've got your recessed holes to the outside with your two M10 fine threaded bolts with your spacers which go on into the frame there And a small bolt that goes through the footrest, the old footrest hole. Yeah, and that's really, it, it's not required. This is just for, for neatness to finish the job off. Right, then we've got our linkage that attaches to the, the gear lever shaft. And obviously that's multi-spline, so you can put that on in various different places. Ideally you want it about the same angle as the foot peg. So if your foot peg normally runs about there, you put your the angle of the, the gear lever in it at about there. Just get a tap on that. Okay, so after you've fitted the bracket, you just fit the linkage on as like that and uh, set your rod up to where you want it, and then you can just nip your lock nuts up. Obviously, it's a bit of trial and error. You're happy where it is, and just make sure the action works nicely there through your gears without hitting anything. And that's about it. It's much easier this side than the brake side, and you're all ready to go.